location 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 it is one of the most important criteria for shooting beautiful camera and tripod pictures you must never underestimate the need for dark skies dark location tops the list in the most important things to consider for shooting star trails if you live in the city or suburbs the sky is not dark you need to find a location away from city lights some place you can see the milky way try to reach a place where there is a truly dark sky visit your native place if it is a village and move out a few kilometers out of the village choose a small hill station like chael or pangot which is not so popular and has few lights better yet look out for even smaller places like sitlakhet temple which has no lights at all mountains height more than 1500 meters are always better as most of the dust then lies below you desert skies of rajasthan are also good and dry especially in winters but watch out for dust storms in the summers india also has a high altitude desert in ladakh you can consider visiting the astronomical observatory locations in india at nainital kavalur mount abu kodaikanal gori badnur kirawali udaipur and devstal whichever is close to you did you know that the highest observatory in the world is situated in india the indian astronomical observatory iao at hanle jammu and kashmir it is upstream the indus river valley you can't have a better location than that once you have all your gear and you have reached your preferred location it's time to run a procedural checklist ready your camera frame the image focus accurately take take test exposures and start your exposure sequence here is a sample checklist for you to run before you start your exposures following a checklist will result in less mistakes and saving valuable time under the stars set camera to manual mode set iso speed to 1600 set aperture to maximum sometimes you would also want to set the aperture one or two stop less than the maximum this is done in order to check several things vignetting that is when the corners become darker than the center reducing the aperture also increases the depth of field so if you have a closer subject in the frame like an observer or telescope then you would want to reduce the aperture sometimes aperture is also reduced to make stars pinpoint for example in a fish eye lens where the stars are really distorted off center set the long exposure noise reduction off if you want to build a star trail photograph but sometimes you want the in camera noise reduction to be on be sure to know that the camera will remain closed for taking a dark frame the same amount of time as the exposure set the image capture to capture to raw set exposure to bulb set auto focuser to manual that is on the lens set display image to off to save batteries set auto sleep to off set camera mode to single shot set timer to off and lastly i hope you have set the flash to off focusing is another important procedure that you must pay your full attention on a lot of time spent under uh, the stars can be reduced to a waste when you come home with unfocused pictures as such the screen at the back of the camera at a maximum is only 3 inches diagonal highly unsuitable for looking at the entire image clicked the old camera manual focus lenses had a hard stop which accurately focused at infinity and focusing was easy 
the new autofocus cameras go beyond infinity to focus on their own correctly. The light is simply not enough in the dark sky for you or the autofocus to work correctly. Accurate focusing is considered so important that many a methods from knife edge to Hartman mask to a Martino mask have been devised from time to time. Here I will explain three simple methods only. If the moon is visible in the sky, point your camera to the moon. Place the moon on one of the focusing spots inside the camera. Turn to autofocus. Press the shutter release halfway several times and you're done. You can also take a bright star and use the autofocus feature of your camera and lens. Only it will be a little difficult to place the star on a focusing spot. You could shine a red light inside the lens to spot the spot. Place a bright star such as Vega or Antares on the spot. Shut off the torch and autofocus. Mind you, I speak from experience that after you focus this way, you will surely forget to set the focusing mechanism back to manual and you are destined to repeat the procedure. Second method. Point your camera while attached to the tripod to a star. Not at the brightest one, but a medium uh, brightness star. Click an image. Now zoom in the image that you have just shot and take a look at the star. Even if it is uh, looking quite okay, change the focus just by a little in one direction. Click another image. Now compare the two images. Some cameras have a rotary dial just to that, like the Canon 1000D, even when the image is magnified. Click plenty of pictures with just a little bit of shift in the focus until you are fully satisfied. Third method is with cameras that have live view. Point your camera to a medium bright star while on a tripod. Start live view. Adjust the brightness using exposure. Do not make the star extremely bright on the screen. Move the focusing ring while in manual focusing mode. You must use the maximum zoom that is available on the camera while watching the live view. Toggle carefully near the best focus. Mind you, the twinkling of the stars can confuse you. Take your time. Be comfortable. As such, the camera is facing upwards. That means the screen is facing the ground at an uncomfortable angle. Just take your time to focus. It's a very bad feeling when you spend the entire night shooting in cold temperatures, come back, see the images in a big screen computer monitor, and start cursing yourself. Apart from these three methods, I urge you to look up the Bartino mask method of focusing on the internet and build a mask for every lens and telescope that you own. In the field, once you have spent time focusing, be careful that you do not touch the focusing ring again at all. In some lenses, the focusing ring is very easily moved. You could tape the focus down, but be careful that the act of taping may move it inadvertently.